Uh, here's the tutorial I promised on how to import an audio uh, track and then track read it uh, so that way you can add that to your X sheet and you can eventually do lip sync. Anyway, click on drag and frame to start. Open that up, create new scene. I did not hook up the camera, uh, so you're going to see just my webcam coming back at me. Uh, we don't need that for the tutorial. Anyway, first thing you want to do is go up here to Scene and click on General. The thing is, Dragon Frame is set for end frames of 48 frames. I don't know why they set it for only 48 frames. Anyway, you need a lot more than that if you're going to uh, import an audio clip that's long. So I usually do about 500 frames, end frame, and that will give you a lot more to work with. Push OK. Once you do that, go up to the left hand or the right hand corner and click on this icon here. And that will bring you into where you to you need to go to import your audio. Once you do this, you click on this box over here and import audio. I have it saved to I think downloads? No. Yes, downloads. Uh, there's my audio clip. I'll click on that, press OK, or import audio, and then voila, it's imported the audio ready to go. Next thing, we need a character, uh, and the character is basically um, just a preview to show you what mouthpieces uh, you have selected, and and it gives you kind of a, um, a, ch a guide on your animation. Anyway, uh, open up using this little balloon and there's the character we'll push on OK this is a character that's in Dragon Frame uh, there's I think a character that you can download it's like a vampire or something but we'll use this guy anyway once you do that you click on this guy and that pops up all the different mouthpieces that you can use for your audio track which we're about to track read Okay, so uh, up here in the uh, on the the bar, uh, this you've got this little uh, yellow thing. That's basically how you can select your frames. You can click and drag to hear the audio, and that's just cut up. You can actually push the space bar, and that will actually let you hear the whole audio clip. Okay, so what I want to do is first, I want, because the audio track is so large, there's this little cursor right here. If you click on that and, and drag and click, you can literally take it so you can make your whole audio clip sh really, really short, and then it shows everything, or you can expand it. So what I try to do is I try to expand it a little bit. So that's the way I've got a little bit to work with. You click on this bar, move it over, try to get to the beginning. And the beginning is always where the uh, uh, where everything starts flaring up, where it's nice and even like that. It's just nothing. And then this is where the words start. So I'll click over here, and then I'll click on this and drag it. I'm sure that's where it's saying we, we are, we are the Borg, we are. So, in fact, I'll, I'll space bar it and just, oh, no, that's not. We are the Borg. Where's we are the you Borg starting? Resistance is futile. Where is we are the Borg starting? Over here? Ah, that's it. I think that's it right there. Yeah, I'm hearing we are. Anyway, I think that's where it starts. So just a little bit before the it starts getting real big, you select there. And then we, so we would be um, this symbol here. So I'll click on that guy. And then voila, it adds it to the track. You're doing this first frame and then the Wii. So it adds it to the track and then every frame afterwards. 
And then what you want to do is you want to basically go and find the next syllable. We, E, E. I think that's it right there. Yeah, sounds like it. So the E, let's try to find the E. Uh, can't see too well. I'm blind. Oh, I think that's it. E. So I'll click on that. So basically, I've just gotten the next syllable. So we, we. So let's try playing that back. Yeah, that looks good right there. So basically, you just keep on going through this, finding the next syllable, the next mouthpiece, and you keep on adding that to that. And eventually, you'll do the whole track. Now, I'm not going to do the whole track because that would take forever. What I am going to do is show you how to, to save it in Dragon Frame. Once you're done with this, you click on uh, this box, I think. Yeah, you, you go back to that left box that I told you about, and then you do Export Track Reading. You name it, whatever you want. I'll just say Borg, B-O-R-G, export track reading, and then voila, it's done. So this way, if you close out Dragon Frame and restart it, create new scene, OK, select the folder, and then if you go to that icon in the left hand corner and click on that and you go back and you click back on this and you import track reading click on Borg import it come on import X sheet why is it not doing it oh because I didn't click on Borg okay import X sheet data and then voila uh, blah 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 all this stuff just push OK import it successfully I'll go I'll scroll back and voila we're back to where we started now you want to see it in the uh, the X sheet what you do is you click on this icon we were on this one click on this icon which brings me back to the timeline then you click on this right tab, or this one right here, and that brings up the X sheet. Once the X sheet's open, if you click on this little plus, scan out this little plus guy right here, you can add the mouse, and then voila, it adds the track, it adds the mouse that you've put in, it shows what the mouse are, uh, the number of them, all that, and you can print this out to your liking and have this next to you, and there you go. That's that's pretty much it. Then you just start animating frame by frame, and, and you've got your mouthpieces, and that's it. End of the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.